Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. This is part two of scraping slash lazy loading, and we're really going to get into it now, guys. Before I get started, I just want to uh, read out the shameless plugs. If you haven't already done so, get over to the botempire.com and check out all the resources on there. There's free videos and free templates like this one. Um, the link is in the description. You can grab this template and work on it yourself in your little bot lab. Okay, guys, also check out the course. The course, the price you see on the site is for lifetime updates and we go into depth on every subject. We build out projects. Like I say, the price you pay is for all the updates that are done every week. So it's an endless learning experience. Also, if you want any templates or custom bots done, um, there's also that section on the site and also we're just uploading now all the new bots that are pre-made and are for sale. There's all types of bots on there, so ch check a look at the bots for sale section. Okay, plug over. Let's get on with the meat of the video. Okay, if you're following along, you would have already uh, watched the last part of this, part one of this video series. If you haven't done so, you naughty boy or girl, get back there and watch the first part of this video because we'll be continuing from there. What um, the issue that we had in the last video is that it was all well and good. We were scraping profiles from TikTok like a boss. However, um, the site uses lazy loading, which means that when you um, scroll down the page, more profiles are loaded. So you need to be able to scroll um, and pick up the rest of the profiles. So I've modified the script a bit. Let's see that in action before we get into what I've done. So it's the same as before. I just have one resource that is going to collect all the username URLs of the profile URLs. We're gonna to come to TikTok, the trending section again, and we are gonna load this and, oh my goodness, this, this site. Okay, so as you can see, we're scraping the usernames as before. Okay, brilliant, all well and good. We have profiles that we can work with on the next part of the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that run away. So, and then look, whoa, we're scrolling down the page and now more profiles are loading. And guess what? We're scraping them. So we've got more than the first 30 now, guys. We're just continuously scraping. So it's gonna scrape all the URLs here. And then if we just wait a couple of seconds, cue the elevator music that I still haven't got for you guys. Okay. So let's just wait a second. It's scraping all the new URL profiles. Yep, it's still going. Woo. There you go. And it scrolls again. It goes down to the bottom of the page. And then more profile URLs are loaded. And guess what? It's going to continue scraping them as well. And then after it's done, three rotations of this. I'll leave it again. I think it was three. I put it or two. Let's just check it out. It's going to stop. Okay. But you could make it go forever. You know, depending on your needs. Um, yeah, you could keep going on this. Let's just check, see how it's getting on. There is a couple of issues with this, which I'm going to go over in a minute, and then in the third part of this video series, we're gonna uh, we're gonna deal with that problem as well. But I'm just going to show you the bot um, running, and I think after this run through, it's going to stop. Um, I set it, I think, to three uh, lit rations. Let's have a look. Wow, look at all these profiles. Great. If you're working with TikTok, then this is gold, obviously. Uh, yeah, I'm working on a TikTok bot now, guys. I don't know anything about the platform, so I'm learning as well as I go. Um, it's not a platform for me, but anyway. Okay, I'm going to stop the bot there, guys. There's a reason why it's taking so long, which I'm going to go over in a sec session in a, in a second. But as you can see, it's scraping all the profiles. It goes to the bottom loads more profiles and continues on. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. So this is gonna be go forever. Well, not forever, but anyway. Okay, so now let's look at the script and see what we've done. So the first thing that you'll notice that I've added is a counter. So all I did for that is go to script logic, script logic, and then I put set variable, 
and then I called it loader counter, but you can call it what you like, and I set the value of that variable or the counter to zero, okay? So the rest is the same apart from I added a sleep just before, um, just after we load the uh, trending section. So all I did for that was come to waiters and then sleep, and then I just put 5,000 because it's in mill milliseconds, okay? Because I noticed sometimes the bot was trying to scrape before all the URLs were loaded. Then we've got all the same thing that we've got, had in the first template, okay? I just want to say as well, guys, this um, method that I'm showing you to do this is like trying to break into a bank and using a dynamite with no stealth at all. This is like a sledgehammer method of doing this. Now, if you've got the video course, you'll know you'll notice there's a section called "There's many ways to skin a cat," which I talk in detail about with every problem in programming or building bots like this. There's always at least a couple of ways to handle handle it. It comes down to preference. Some ways are more slick than others. This is not a slick way of doing it at all. The reason I'm showing you this method is we include a couple of uh, functions, um, things that we haven't gone through in previous videos. So it's a good way to show you different features of Bass um, while building out a bot. So once uh, from the previous video, um, you'll know that we stopped here. We, got, we logged out the links and we ended things there. Well, what we've added now, once it's done, the, um, once it's scraped all the profiles, okay guys, it's going to um, go on to this next section, which I'll talk about in just a second. Hold on guys. Just seeing how long I've been doing this for. Okay. So we'll come back here. Sorry guys. So we'll go here and we'll notice as it's once we finish logging and this is where we left off in the pre previous video we then go into use a function called type and what that is if you come here and you go to your browser options in the toolbox you'll notice that there's an option that says type if you go on that you're basically able to emulate the keyboard or the mouse and you've got all these preset options here like alt your shift button tab enter escape etc uh, mouse wheel up and down which is interesting but I've used the um, page down option here and what I've done is basically um, put next which means page down and I put it in about 10 times so if we let me demonstrate to you how that kind of looks so if we come to our load in the TikTok page and we move the execution point here and we just load the uh, trending section of the TikTok site. Let me just move this up so you can see. So now let's just say that we've done all this. We've scraped our profile URLs like we did in the first video. And then we come directly down here to this is where I've just put that, go down, press down page like 10 times. Let's see that works. See, scroll, 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 boom. It hits the bottom of the page and then it loads the new URLs, okay? Then what happens, I'm using an if logic statement. So I come here, I come to the logic statement and press if, and what I've said is if, if the counter, load counter, which is the counter we made, the variable we made at the start, is lower or less than, and I've put three in here, you can use any number you want, or you could even use this as a resource so that uh, users can input this number. If it's under three, okay, if under three, then increase the load counter by one. So include, uh, increase our counter by one, then move to label start of scraping the loop. And you'll see this big arrow that comes all the way up here and um, starts here at the label, okay? So what the bot is doing, guys, it's saying, look, if the counter, if our um, load counter is under three, then increase the counter by one, and then move the script to the label, start of scraping loop. Now how we make this um, label and this movement of the bot is quite straightforward. We are in the right section, script logic. We can set a label and call the label what we want. So I called mine um, start of scrape loop, okay? And we can put that label where we want. Okay, so I put it at this just before the start of the loop iterations. Okay, 
<coughs> excuse me guys and then the second part which I've done here is move to loop um, sorry move to label it's just simply in the same toolbox um, move to label and I added that here so guys what's happening is we're um, pressing the down key the down page key quite a few times I think I put it in ten times then we're saying if the load counter is under three then increase the counter by one and then move the script back to the start of the scraping and then it's going to run through it again guys and scrape all the data and then it's going to hit the down key ten times it's going to check if our counter is under three and when it isn't when it's um, not under three so when it's free when it hits number three or in other words it's done this scraping three times it's going to break out of this and it's going to say success finish scraping okay guys um, so you can find the success um, option here which basically means finish the script is also here in the same toolbox the scripts logic okay guys <clears throat> and that is it um, the problem that we're facing now okay which is going to be handled in the final part of this video series is the issue of what's happening is it's loading more okay it's loading more profiles but also the profiles that were in, on the first scrape are also included so it's, it's scraping the first 30 and then the second 30 the new 30 um, together so then we're getting 60 profiles so we're basically getting a lot of duplicate URLs um, which we don't want obviously guys and we're gonna handle that in the next pro in the next video so I'll see you guys in the final part of this series